Hey friends, Laura here with Cox Homestead. I recently posted a question on my Instagram asking, are rabbits livestock? I got a lot of good answers and some good insights actually on this topic. And I'm gonna take a seat here and I'm gonna go over some of those answers I got with you. And I would love to have your feedback in the comments. All right, pull up a seat. Listen to me while you do your dishes, your laundry, whatever. Um, this is going to be more just a free dialogue situation as we hash out the idea of whether or not rabbits are livestock animals or not. So I would love it if you would please chime in in the comments and let me know your thoughts and as well as hit the subscribe button and like this video. All that will help me keep doing this and keep me motivated to share and chat with you. So first of all, in my stories, I did a simple picture of rabbits and I said, do you think rabbits are livestock or not? 95% of you said yes. 5% of you said no. And then there was a percentage that didn't answer as well. But of those that answered, 95 said yes. So I thought, is that because they're following me? Would they say the same if they were following a pet rabbit account? You know, there's a lot of factors that come into that. But what I wanted to share with you was a lot of the thoughts that people had around the subject. Because so my next slide said, why or why not? And so I'm going to share with you the why or why not. Before I do that, I'm going to give you my first initial thoughts on the situation. My first thought is, yeah, they're livestock. Of course, we use them for meat production to provide for our family. So why wouldn't they be livestock? My second thought is, hold the horse. We don't get tax <laughs> breaks for our rabbits. We don't get them our feed for rabbits tax-free. We don't get the water or food supplies tax-free. We don't get the cages tax-free. Nothing about them is tax-free. So while I look at them as being livestock, the government doesn't look at them as being livestock. So then I start to wrestle with, okay, what is the definition of livestock? And do I use... Webster's definition, the government's definition, or do I use my own definition? And so I'm going to share with you, um, when I put in livestock online, what comes up? Because I think that's an important thing to do if we're going to sit here and repeat the subject over and over. So let's see. What is livestock? And the initial answer that comes up is farm, farm animals regarded as an asset. Oh, so this says nothing to do necessarily with meat or meat production, just that it's an asset. So then we would need to decide an asset, which we did way back in school, right? Asset versus liability. One um, brings profit to your home. The other is uh, constantly draining your profits. And so for me, rabbits are definitely an asset. So looking at that first definition, I can say, Okay, looking at that, um, rabbits are livestock for me. And then it goes on to say markets for the trading of livestock. So you have to, I guess there has to be a market for it, which I sell a lot of rabbits, so there's definitely a market. Here's some more definition. It says livestock farm animals with the exception of poultry. I don't understand that. In Western countries, the category encompasses primary cattle, sheep, pigs, goats, horses, donkeys, and mules. Other animals, such as buffalo, oxen, llama, or camels, may predominate in the agriculture of other areas. So according to uh, the Bricana, uh, I'm not going to say that, the dictionary, the encyclopedia, the Britain, Britain how do you say that? Ah, now I'm just going to leave you hanging so you can keep correcting me and say it right. That dictionary, <laughs> rabbits are not livestock. And then what does livestock mean? Livestock means cattle, elk, reindeer, bison, horses, deer, sheep, goats, swine, poultry, including egg producing poultry, llamas, alpacas, live fish, crawfish, and other animals that are part of a foundation herd, including dairy producing cattle or offspring or are purchased as a part of a normal operation. So this is from the fmcsa.gov. So... There's all sorts of different definitions. Here's the next one. This one's from Wikipedia. We'll stop here. And this one is, livestock are the domesticated animals raised in agriculture setting for providing labor, to provide 
labor and produce commodities such as meat, eggs, milk, fur, and leather. So that being said, rabbits, uh, leather and wool, actually it goes on, I clicked on it, wool here. Rabbit does the meat, they do the fur, um, which, or also the hair, um, and then the, I, we can't call it wool because it's not sheep, but the um, fiber is what I would say there. So you can use their their skin with the hair on it, or you can um, cut off the hair or comb out the hair and you'll have the fiber. So looking here at Wikipedia, it does not say she, uh, go, it does not sheep, it does not say rabbits, but according to their definition, it definitely qualifies. So I'm torn. I feel like it's all a matter of opinion at this point on how you define what livestock is. So let's look and see what some of you have said about if it is rabbits or livestock or not. One person says, I eat them and grow them at home, meaning they are livestock. They provide meat, so livestock. I consider ours livestock because they're, we're breeding them for meat or to sell. My rabbits are livestock because the end result of purpose for them is meat in my freezer. I would like to say meat in my belly, but I guess if you just put them in the freezer, I don't know. <laughs> I've never understood what people say it's meat for the freezer. I'm like, wait, like the freezer doesn't eat it. It's meat for me. Anyways, moving on. We use them like livestock, but I guess they are traditionally viewed as pets. Ooh, we can talk about this one just a minute because the reason we have rabbits here in America right now is for food. That was like the main staple of meat in our country when it was founded. Um, your, your rabbits are livestock. Depends on what you do with them. So that person is saying, again, it's your own definition. Here we go on to say, if it's not specifically a house pet, livestock. Do a, do, they do a job on the farm. So if it's not a house pet, then you can call it livestock. They are a meat source. They are a fertilizer source. And they are a income source. So uh, that, according to this lady, they are definitely livestock. Um, this one goes on to say, I have free roam house buns and I couldn't raise rabbits for meat for food after that. You couldn't eat a dog, right? You do you, though. It's all a matter of point of view on this, right? Uh, this one says, they are, if you use them as such, if you eat them, they are livestock. Any animal that can feed or protect other animals is livestock. I like that definition. That's from the collared shirt farmer. He says, any animal that you can, that can feed you or protect other animals is livestock. So that's also my dogs. Uh, my friend Sarah says, because they are being raised for food or to grow for food. They are livestock. Uh, someone says they have many useful purposes, so that qualifies them as livestock. Stop it. You're interrupting, and there will be consequences if you do it again. Thank you. If they're farm animals that can be processed as food or trade income. Oh, this person acknowledges, they say, are chickens even considered livestock? Which, in that first definition, it said, except poultry. So if you know why poultry are an exception to that livestock, please leave it in the comments and let me know. I am very curious to know on that one. And I've not looked it up, so you can fool me. Uh, if you fool me, then I'll look it up and <laughs> get the answer. But uh, this person says, I raise them commercially. I consider them livestock. They are taxable just like cattle. Well, interesting because I wonder what state they're in. They, we don't, we don't have, I mean, I, I put them in my farm tax, but when I go to the store to buy stuff, I don't get tax exempt on their things. So I need to message them and see what they mean by that because, um, I'm not for sure. Okay. If an animal is raised or feeding or producing products for humans, it is livestock. If, when it says they are livestock, if they have a purpose, meat or fertilizer, I consider anything that I raised at home for food to be livestock. This one says, I didn't answer because I think it depends on the intent. My rabbit, I would say, is not livestock. I appreciate the honesty there because I do see if you have it as a pet in your house, it's not livestock. But what are you doing with that poop? 
it still might be used for something because someone can have a cow in their backyard that they're not eating or milking or anything like that as a pet, but it's still a livestock animal. It fits that category according to the definitions. Oh, my phone went to sleep here. Uh, IRS code. It's livestock wants sales or income can be counted against it. Otherwise, it's hobby family animals. That is very helpful. Hey, we're not playing with Legos in here right now. Farm animal assets. That's your money and your family's food. Totally livestock by definition. I like the uh, confidence in that answer. Ooh, this person says you can show them at 4-H and they have a purpose besides companionship. And that is true. Um, they're useful on the farm for garden and for food. And this person says livestock includes all domesticated animals that produce commodities. I like that answer too. If you are raising them with the intent to breed and market or eat, then they are livestock. They are raised as production animal meat, fiber fur, just like cows, sheeps, and goats. So they are livestock. This person says, I consider them a farm animal or a pet but use livestock to refer to goats, equine, cattle, and sheep. Which is interesting that equine get referred to as livestock. Someone explained that one to me in the comments. I've never eaten horse. <laughs> if they are raised for food, I would consider them livestock. And this one, I consider ours livestock because they are a meat source. I have just a few more here. Um, this one says, we had rabbits. Um, not a, they were not an asset. We didn't eat them or make any income from them. So they do not consider them uh, livestock. Sarah says they can be both. Even a greyhound is classified as livestock. Yeah, which with the blue collar guy, he said that if it's protecting your animals, it's also a livestock. So that would make sense that greyhounds could be classified. They provide food for people in third world countries and in first world countries too. These are uh, a commodity all over the world. We have just idolized them into house pets and house decoration and everything else here in America. Moving on. They are, they are originally for meat and pelts. We turn them into pets. Hmm, coincidence or not? That's what it just said. Our farm rabbits are livestock. They serve a purpose providing meat for our family. And that is the last of the, the comments I got on those. So there was a lot of really great thoughts there. And I think at the end of the day, I consider my rabbits to be livestock. And how I would like them to be fully considered a livestock is I would love to be able to get um, all their supplies tax-free. So if you want to work with me on making that happen... Leave me a comment below and say, let's make this happen. And we will uh, maybe start a, um, an email or a group chat on how we can make this happen, how we can be the difference we need um, in the ag world, homestead world, farming world, whatever word you like to use, and getting rabbits classified as livestock. Until next time, friends, eat more rabbit! <laughs>